What's up? What's up? What's up? It's your boy Fitz and I'm back for another Fitz Friday. <laughs> I'm back with another Fit Friday video. As you read by that title, yes, this is going to be my first story time. I figured it's time for me to come up here, switch it up for my every Friday content, and give you guys a little bit of my personality. I'll give you a little bit of personality. A little personality. And let you guys know who I am, how I am, and what it do. Shout it. If you are new here, welcome. I know I've gotten some new subscribers over my hiatus, and I appreciate you all. And if you are a returning viewer, you already know, we rocks the mic over here, because we got soul, you feel me? We got soul over here. But without further ado, let's get into this story time. Okay, so I did a poll on my Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, you need to be because I'm very interactive with you guys when it comes to my Fitz Friday content. I ask you guys what you wanna see. So that way you're getting exactly what you asked for. So this week I asked to choose between two story times. A, my first time stealing or getting caught stealing. Instagram don't let you put too much within the poll um, option. So it really was supposed to be me getting caught stealing, but stealing getting caught stealing or my first studio session so drum roll please drum roll can i get a drum roll can we get a drum roll oh and at 80 percent we have first time stealing so that's what we're gonna go with guys looks like i'm about to tell you guys when i had a little sticky sticky icky icky oh my gosh and this camera's about to die Okay, so here's the deal. I'm gonna charge this camera, come back, and tell you guys this juicy, juicy Get yourself comfortable, get a snack, roll up a blunt if you got to, Let's get a little drink, a little wine, because we're about to get into the shit. Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm charged up. I'm ready to go. <laughs> Even though some time has gone by and more people have added um, their vote to the poll, first time stealing is still in the lead at 89% right now. We gon' we gon' we gon' we gon' gon take it back. Way back. Back in time. Okay, so I'ma just kick it off like this, right? So, once upon a time in my life, I um, went through a phase where, like, I would have money, um, and I would, like, get on the city bus with my friends, or we would get rides from one of our parents. If you know, or if you don't know, I'm from New Haven. Yeah, it's a small city in Connecticut. It's where, like, Yale and, like, all of that shit is, you know? So... We would like get on the city bus and go to what we call Hamden Plaza and or we would go to like Milford Mall. Like New Haven or should I say Connecticut so to speak. It's a place where like it's easy to like get around in certain like towns. So I say all of that to say that we would take the bus and we would go to like the um, plaza where they had like Old Navy or um, Marshalls, TJ Maxx. Um, Gap. These are Hand and Plaza stores. Oh, they had a Bob's in Hand and Plaza too. Bob's? <laughs> I used to hit Bob's up. Like, I would take Converse. I was good for taking Converse's or shoes, period, out of the box and like putting them in my book bag or putting them in another bag and like getting out of Dodge. Cause I'm not gonna take the whole box. I just need the shoes. Man, I used to get right. This is so self-incriminating, but this is old. This is very old. This is anything recent. Um, disclaimer. Okay. <laughs> I don't need to be going to jail. This particular story that I'm going to be telling you guys, um, I actually got caught stealing. This is my first time that I can recall. My first time getting like caught and like having to like go to court or like stuff like that or do community service behind it 
The story begins with me and my cousin. I'm not gonna say um, what cousin it was. The story begins with my cousin and I, and I'm not gonna give my cousin's name because, yeah. What I will do is give my cousin a nickname. So we will nickname my cousin. Um, I don't wanna give it something that's too like obvious. All right, we gotta nickname my cousin Monk. So Monk and I, um, we're a year apart. Well, maybe 10 months, I think. Oh, I have a mosquito bite on my hand, guys, and it itches really bad. Wow, it itches so bad. So in, our, in, our, in my town, where I'm from, there's this thing called the Freddy Fixer, right? So at this point in time, um, the Freddy Fixer was well known for being like the hot spots. And when I say hot spots, I mean like it's bound to be a fight. It might be a shootout. Um, it's just very live, very in action. And it's a parade that goes through from Hamden to the Ville the tribe to downtown again if you know you know i can't break down hoods and sections but this is all still the same town so boom this particular year um a drill team in our town was doing um like a, a six flags trip instead of the parade because there was so much violence going on so we like oh bet we definitely doing the the six flags trip i i, I. we going Cool. We need something to wear though. We need outfits. The Six Flags trip was a Sunday. So Saturday, me and Monk, we are at our grandmother's house and, um, you know, we getting all our shit together, like getting money, getting this and this and that, like getting ready to go to the mall. So Monk's two friends come with us and um, we're going to name her two friends. All right. So we're going to name her two friends, Belle and Bond. Boom. We go to the mall, whatever. We get on the city bus, go to the mall. Boom, we in the mall. We already knew that we were going to the mall to get right. When I say get right, I mean, hello. We we get in the five finger discount. Wherever we pulling up in. So we go to the mall. At this time, there was a store in our mall called Stephen Barry's. Yeah, it's that long ago. We are in the mall, we going through mad different stores. When I say mad different stores, I'm talking about Hollister, I'm talking about Zoomies, I'm talking about um, Aeropostale, um, um, Stephen Barry's, um, where else were we going? Oh, there's a Target in this mall, so we had so much shit that we had to like go to Target and steal a book bag. So that way we could put more shit in the bags that we had already been like stealing. Cause we didn't want to be walking around with bulky big bags. Before we leave out of the mall, um, one of Monk's friends, I don't know if it was Belle or Bond, but I want to say it was Bond. I don't remember. But one of them wanted to go and pay less to get some socks because Payless was known for like the colorful, crazy socks or whatever. Why you want to particularly go into Payless and steal some socks, I really can't begin to like describe or tell you why that was the store of choice. But that's where we ended up and that's where they wanted to go to particularly go and get socks. So we in there, they doing what they do. Um, the rest of us were kind of just like walking around, standing around in the store. We started to like leave out. Um, so everybody leaves. We, we leave out of the store. Now, across the street from this mall, there's an Old Navy. So, we leave out of the mall. We leave from the mall premises. We're clear from everything. Like, we got everything we needed from the mall. We good. Oh, here comes a blunt. This just made the story even better. We leave out of the mall parking lot and go across the street. Directly across the street, there was Old Navy. We get to Old Navy, do Old Navy dirty. We did Old Navy so dirty, like, oh my gosh, did them dirty. Mind you, we were only supposed to be getting outfits for Six Flags, which meant one outfit and maybe like swim trunks and like that type of like swim attire shit like that. Nah, niggas just going full blown like end of the school year shopping sprees because this time of year is like middle of May. 
after we leave out of Old Navy, I think Monk wanted to go back in the mall. I think my cousin wanted to go back in the mall. I was on some shit like, let's go on a bus. Like, we have mad hot product on us. Like, the block is hot. It's time for us to get our little asses on this motherfucking bus and head back to the hood. Like, I'm not trying to go nowhere. The way my father set up, the way my mom set up, nah, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to get, I'm not trying to go out like that. Tomorrow it takes flags, like, I'm trying to be lit, I'm trying to be like, I'm trying to be in here. Bro. Somehow, some way, I got convinced to go back in the mall. We all go back in the mall, and we walk past this bum ass fucking Payless. Hold on, let me go get the blunt back. Why, as we're walking up to the store, right? As we're like approaching the store, because the entrance that we walked in was like by Target. So we had to like walk in past Target and like walk up this long ass hallway to get to where we was trying to go. The manager is standing outside. She was not like this, but apparently the opposite. She's standing outside of the store and she's chopping it up with uh, more security. So as we walking up, she turns around and she starts pointing. It was at that moment I knew we fucked up because I'm telling you. I looked at Monk, Monk looked at me. I'm like, bitch, you and your friends, you and your fucking friends, y'all wanna come back in the fucking mall. But okay, we here now, we here. So the lady's like, hey, yeah, you guys stole something, da 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 we got you on camera, blah, 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 blah. So Belle walks up and pulls the socks out the bag, and I think, I don't know if Belle, because I don't remember if Belle or Bond stole the socks. But for some reason, like, what's coming to my mind is Belle reaching in the bag and, like, giving the lady the socks, like, here you go, um, I'm sorry, um, I just didn't have enough money. Like, basically trying to give, like, a sob story to kind of, like, cop plea and, like, get out of it. Man, that lady was not having it. She was not having it. She said no. So, the security guard was like, if you have what she's, what you know you took from her, then, like, give it back to her and, and that'll be that. Or it's really up to her. Like, it's up to the, the store's discretion on what they want to do. If they want to press charges or if they just want to let you go. This lady must have been so racist and just saw four black kids and was like, yeah, take them down. She was a Karen. That's what I got from it. She was a Karen because it's like, all right, lady, like, clearly, whether you think we got money or not, like, if she giving, if you're getting the socks back, like, why now you got to press the issue even more? Like, why you got to do that? Why you got to do that? So now here comes the most embarrassing part of the whole story. The officer, the mall cop, the renter cop, the poor blur of the of the of the situation pulls out two pairs of handcuffs, right? He handcuffs me and Monk together, and then Monk is handcuffed to one of their friends, and then I think yeah, I don't I don't remember if it was Bell or Bond, so shit. Y'all, this trying to um, keep up with this um, not saying the real names situation, it ain't easy. So bear with me. Monk was handcuffed to Bell. Bell was handcuffed to Bond. And I was handcuffed to Monk. So all four of us looking like fucking, um, what you call that shit? Three Stooges looking like. Badass fucking bandits trailing through the mall, going up the escalator, all of that. Like, no privacy, no no hiding your face, no nothing. And handcuffs like this. Like, so we all walking, looking like chain slaves through the mall. Me and Monk found that shit so funny. We are trying so hard not to laugh. But then, in the back of my mind, I'm thinking like, damn. My mom and dad, they a little known, like, and it's not uncommon for, like, someone that my mom or dad knows to happen to see me 
in this moment right now. Cause my mom didn't even know that I was at the mall, I don't think. My grandmother knew. And Monk's mom knew. So I was good. Cause adults knew. You know what I'm saying? My mom didn't know yet. So that's really why I was nervous. Cause it's like, damn, my mom don't even know that I'm here. And like, wow. We walked through the mall get upstairs to the second level or third level i don't remember what floor it was but we get up there and the security they have their own little like precinct office whatever you want to call it they um like uncuff us or whatever and like have us sit down in these chairs it has everybody call their parents one by one but me and monk we called at, like we called as one we called one band, one sound type shit. Oh my gosh. My grandmother had to come get us and the cops was like, basically they gave us a, 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 a citation for us to go to court because the lady pressed charges for us stealing. Oh, I didn't even tell y'all. This is, oh, it gets, oh, wait, 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 let me, okay, rewind. Oh, so we get into the precinct, right? And then boom. Of course we all have these bags and shit like that. So the, the, the guys like, the, what did you guys steal? Like, what did you take? We looking at each other like, should we say? Like, should we not say? Nobody wanna talk first, so it's this quiet. We all just looking at each other. Monk is like, all right, fine. Like, this is what I did, da 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 Like, Monk, is, Monk start airing it. So I'm like, oh gosh. I'm like, oh gosh, okay, so now I should probably just like hop on a BM wagon and like say my part, right? I ain't even gonna hold y'all though. Monk kind of threw me under the bus. Like, Monk threw me under the bus for a quick second. Like, Monk was like, well, some of this stuff not even mine. Like, um, my cousin was like doing most of the stuff and like just putting it in a bag and I was like holding the bag. Monk. Monk. I was like, damn, Monk. I mean, that really was what was happening, but like, I wasn't the brains behind everything. Like, I was just the one that was bold enough to be like, all right, fuck it. Like, this is what we want. We're going to take it. You feel what I'm saying? But it was like, damn, cuz. Ride or die, fool. Ride or die. So then, boom. I start talking. Da -da. We just start to like telling them everything that we did. We ended up dumping all of our bags out on the floor they like oh my gosh you guys have a lot of stuff like wow we had mad shit i'm surprised it wasn't a felony like that's how much shit we had i'm sure it was over 500 dollars, but because it was four of us i'm sure they probably split it between the four of us so each person didn't get over 500 dollars. you know what i mean combined i'm sure it was over 500 dollars, but we didn't get charged with a felony thank the lord i was like 12, 13 at this point in time. Might have even been 11. Thinking that we was fucking doing something, trying to go to Six Flags. Whole time, I didn't even go to Six Flags. I was on punishment. Couldn't do shit. Couldn't go nowhere. Mind y'all, the parade still was going on. And where I grew up, the parade literally passes the corner of my house. So I hear everything. And I'm in the house, locked up like a fucking inmate because my dumb ass want to go out and go stealing when I had money in my pocket. My grandmother gave me and Monk $100 a piece before we left her house. So you tell me why the fuck we needed to steal because we thought it was fucking cool. And yeah, that shit was wild as fuck, bro. Like, that was the first time I got caught stealing. I don't know if I got caught again. I mean, I, I've gotten caught where, like, if I'm walking out and something beep, <laughs> I might, like, toss it back or, like, you know, play, like, I don't know what's going on and just run out the store. Like, that's happened a couple of times. Um, but... <laughs> That was so long ago, so, so, so long ago. I haven't stolen anything in a very long time. I did, have not, like, been a thief in a very long time. So thank God for um, being able to come out of that and change. Thank, thank God for, for strength and will because it can become a thing and it can become addicting, especially if you look at it as, like, a hustle and you start making money from it because I know a lot of grown-ass boosters. And I could have been one. But I'm delivered. I'm the <laughs> He kept me by the cross and I thank I thank, I you. thank you. Yes, yes, yes.
that's it for this story time. It, 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 y'all tell me what y'all think. Do y'all think that I, I was like wrong for like going in with them to the mall? Should I have like left and did my own thing and like just said fuck everybody else? Should I have done that? Or should I have like went along with everybody and went inside and gotten caught with everybody like we did? Cause remember, I, I was thinking to leave. Y'all tell me in the comments. Let me know another story time that you guys want to hear. Um, I kind of like telling you guys these things. Going back into my memories is pretty freaking cool. And it's actually funny now that I'm like a grown adult. And I'm like thinking and looking back at the shit that I would do or have done. It's like, sir. You so... Grow up. <laughs> Step up to the mic and let them know you got so... It's your boy Fitz, and I'm out. I see new things, I'm gonna have it overnight.